So Mike, so James, what? Go on. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, you know it, right? Oh yeah, that uh, scrappy little number that Fox canceled after five seasons of consistently good ratings. It was picked up by NBC in less than 24 hours. A network known for its long running and generally adored situational comedies. Yeah, that'd be the one. Never heard of it. Why do you let me write the script? Oh, you know, because um, you are brilliant and creative, and if I'm being honest, not too shabby in the looks department. <sighs> anyway, that show is not without its numerous delightful food moments, wouldn't you agree? Oh yeah, you got, uh, you know, Boyle with his adventurous but undeniably gourmet sensibilities, and then Amy, who's good at just about everything but cooking, and then uh, Jake, who's, you know, just as creative as Boyle, but uh, with the palate of a six-year-old. Agreed. And very well said. Thanks. So, uh, dessert. One of Boyle's fancy creations? So does this mean that I'm part of the crew? Nobody can touch you now. Wow. Guess all it took was the ramen tip. Actually, you gotta do one more thing for me to close the deal. Absolutely no problem. Actually, I actually have a great idea for a ramen dessert. You make it with Jello mix. I need you to kill a guard. Okay. okay. Great. Cool, 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 cool. Beef baby's out for blood. So. Alright, so what we have here is what is only described in the show as a ramen dessert. It's from the first episode of season five, in which I believe the exact line Jake says I have this is I have this great idea for a ramen dessert, you make it with jello mix. You'll notice that he does not in any way indicate whether or not he means that you use jello mix in lieu of the flavor packet or in addition to it. So what we have here is ramen noodles suspended in jello with no flavoring in it. And what we have there, Goodness. that Katie will kindly serve to us after we're done with this, like so. has the flavor packet in it. And it looks... I'm actually really proud of how it turned out, in terms of, like, something great to serve, aesthetics. Like we went with cherry, because Mike, not knowing what he was asking for, kept pitching cherry. I didn't like, even do it intentionally. It was like the flavor. What do you think of when you think of Jell-O? I was like, yeah, hey, the most, cla the most cherry. classic flavor of, of Jell-O. And so it's cherry, it's got ramen in it. We have this for downing more than we normally would. And uh, yeah, I think we should just dive in so we can get to the real taste test. And that's the, the flavored one, so. Um, that, oh, I'm it, actually kind of morbidly interested. It cuts in that weird. One. That does cut really weird. It's just like, it, it looks really bad. It does, I'm gonna stab it because it's just gonna fall off. Um, there we go. Weigh it. Look at, mm. Yeah. Well, that was worth it. Wow, you suck. You suck. Dang. This is the second dessert in a row with noodles in it. It's a very disturbing texture. It is. I I'm, really hope this isn't what he meant. When I am he vowing. It I'm vowing right now the that the next dessert we have will not have noodles in it. I met some promise. I don't know I'm if I should feel pleased with that or otherwise slightly disturbed or worried. It, yeah, because I've, I've, I know what to expect from noodle desserts now. It's true. They're bad. You're, you're building up an They're immunity. just bad. Like Iocane powder. Right. I, I can't say that the taste of this is all that bad, though I'm not really a big fan of artificial cherry flavor in anything. Mm. Uh, but it mostly just tastes like jello, but the texture You can't is... see this on camera, but the way the jello formed, like it's, look at that. It's it's not as clean cut as it normally is. I think that's the starches from the. That's entirely yeah. That's entirely there's like so like little uh, marbling and fissures. Yeah, there's like ridges and stuff. But yeah, as far as taste ruffles. goes, it's yeah, not ridges. it's not terrible if you like cherry. But the the texture is just so unsettling. Mm. Yeah, it's not right. <clears throat> That'll help. Fuck you, fam. All right, I'll do it. I'm not your maid. What? That's not... Nope, never mind. 
I had to brainstorm all this. If anything, you should be whipping my cream. Yeah, but then that half of your joy is like brainstorming it and then not telling me until I have to eat it what it is. No, I would love for you to be able to take a more active role and sometimes be able to provide things to surprise me. Mm. But I know that, A, you don't have as much free time as I do. And you're not as brilliant in the kitchen. Yeah, much better at... Is that in the script, too? Fixing phones. Yes, it says right here. Damn it. I think it's better with the whipped cream. Obviously, because whipped cream more of the everything better. covered by whipped cream. You know... Whipped cream is the bacon of whipped dairy products. What if we took bacon and put whipped cream on it? Too much of a good thing. Mm. You're probably right. Okay, we've wasted enough food. I'm going to finish this. We can do it. Ugh. Oh, we still got a whole other thing. Yeah, well, this one we know we can finish. That one we don't. Well, I can come back to this one. Yeah, right, go ham. I'm going to pace myself. Mm. You look terrible. There's got to be some funny way to describe the texture. You could do it in a non-funny way. I already tried, but that's what I'm like. I can't think of any... Anything to compare it to. It tastes like noodles suspended in gelatin. Yeah, but only people who have eaten what we're eating know what that's like. And people with very ima active imaginations. I wasn't prepared for this. I have an active imagination. <laughs> All right, so uh, Katie has provided us the, the flavored ones. They're notably less jiggly. I'm assuming it has They're something to do with the, the salt having desiccated the, the gelatin more it slides around a little bit uh, it also we jiggle. also might have packed a little bit more noodle into it because we did oh, those we ones first did. and then so that might be part of it as well but uh yeah i'm um i feel like these are gonna be mostly oh oh I, sh I should also be noted that uh the episode in which this came up uh there was a lot of talk of picante beef flavor ramen so i hunted down a pack they don't even make it anymore now they have hot and spicy beef that's supposedly the same flavor but i found picante beef and uh yeah, picante beef and cherry jello seem like they go hand in hand, but I suspect I'm going to prove that long-held belief wrong. Good luck, fucker. Is it better? I can definitely taste the picante beef. Me too. Is it better? I think this reminds me more of normal ramen. Yeah, that's. It tastes less like Jello with noodles in it, and more like more ramen. like ramen, to picante beef ramen with Jello in it. Yeah, um, which is good because I like. But ramen. I'm not sure. Is it better or worse? Like I don't know. It's that's a tough call. It's a really tough call. But you know what it they say? There's always feels, room for Jello. It certainly beef in it. feels like I'm gonna pay for this later somehow. Well, I mean, savory Jello is not an unheard of thing. I mean, aspic. I has been around for hundreds of years. Is that it's, like plain white sauce? It's kind of like plain white sauce in that it won't make your gums go gray. I gotta eat more. Just a, just a. I can't. I can't wrap my head around why it's working slightly better for me. Because every part of it seems like a super. You know, we have to put whipped cream on this. Oh, too. Course, I yeah. Okay. I've only eaten a quarter. Got a nice little Pac-Man thing going. I do. Or I would if you picked lemon. <laughs> oh. And in any, in any case, it's not good. Jello does not in any way improve upon picante beef or vice versa. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to cut what I have left in half because I plan on finishing it and I want to. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> I didn't know you could make whipped cream come out so slow. It's It's, it's talent. Very, very like, sensitive like, fingers. Uh. Hmm. Tastes the same. Hmm. The picante beef overwhelms the, the whipped cream for me. Well, you didn't put enough on then. I don't know why I'm still doing this to myself. I know. It, it, I feel like I've hit the uh, required amount. Yeah. I feel like it's going to just sit in my stomach like a brick. I know this is probably not true. I mean, it's jello. The jello dissolves really easily. All you have to do is, like, raise the temperature of the room about, about 40 degrees. <laughs> Short answer I would not recommend it. 
Jake Peralta, I love your brain and the way it approaches food. And I am sure that we will we will revisit you for ideas many times moving forward. But this one, well, I encourage you, I encourage you to try it. The only so you can know how bad of an idea it is. Yeah, or otherwise, you know, may, maybe he meant something a little bit different. Maybe or, this wasn't his his thing that he saw when mm-hmm. he mentioned those two things together. Or, or he could just watch this, take our word for it, and then like and subscribe and mention it in season seven of Brooklyn Nine Hundred. Oh, down boy. We love you, Jake. I kind of I want to try another bite of this one. <laughs> See, you did yourself the disservice of finishing all of your regular ramen jello. Again, this is better. It's not a lot better, but it's better. Or as regular as ramen jello can get. Um, finish that a little soon, I think. Nope. No, nope, you're right. Oh, well, I'm tapping out. I'm proud of you. I'm not. You're a bigger man than I. I ate the stuff. I think that this is not the worst thing I've ever eaten. Nor is it the best. It's a pretty wide, pretty wide range of possibilities there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I like to keep things vague because I know we're going to eat a lot more terrible stuff on this show. An experience worth having once. Why I took more than one bite is beyond me. Maybe I thought it might change. The ready whip helped. But, um, yeah, I'm not doing that ever again. Please me, don't make me neither. Unless I find it on another show. Maybe we'll try grape next time. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> well, I guess that concludes another episode of Poor Taste Buds. So it would seem. Can I go throw up now? No. As always, dear viewers, if you enjoyed watching Mike and I put things in our mouths, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Oh, uh, ring the bell. That's a thing that I've heard people say. Though I still do not know what it means to this very day. Oh, I actually very much do. Uh, yeah, answer. I don't care. I'm sorry, was that unclear? No, no. You know, in retrospect, that makes sense. Good. In that case, we're the Poor, poor taste, taste Buds. And we eat it so you don't have to.